one thing I could say. Echo had said that the... You could the... say a lot more than one thing. Mm. Well, Echo had said that the remnants were... They were dashed hopes and dreams. Or akin to that. And if you notice, I mean, she was impaled. This thing seems to be impaled into something. The star scene? Yeah. I don't know. I, I really think that side. this place is a manifestation of Echo in some way. Ooh, no, just treaties. more runes. No, 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 I'm talking about this whole place. Grind on rails. Ooh. Broken capital. Ravaged Veruki City? In the That's dialogue. Veruki architecture. They vanished over a hundred years ago. I guess this is what happened to them. Wait. So, they're familiar with the Veruki. So... Has this black hole been going around, sucking up planets and... I mean, they've got a name for it and they have enough the tech. The here are pretty messed up. Okay. I really find it interesting, though, that they go, Well, the Veruki vanished a hundred years ago. Don't know what happened to them. And you would think that there's the Void Runner Society and their planet wouldn't investigate, unless it truly was a situation where the whole planet was gone, yeah, or the whole system. At which point, the only thing you, no. yeah, you lost one of your shields. We can get it back. Ah, uh, but yeah. You can still see it. I've got the capacity for it back. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Is that... Oh, that's shadows. I thought it was blood for a moment. Good door that opens, though. Its weak spot is exposed. I might be able to cut through it. Yeah, but... I was holding the wrong button. <laughs> I've been playing... Maybe too many games lately, or I don't know. Well, I, I could only imagine that if you play too many games, especially ones with combat and platforming that require so, different buttons and commands. I, uh, specifically, it's not so bad if I'm playing completely different games. It's really bad if I'm playing... Ones that are similar. Very similar. So, but, like, Souls Likes, yeah. for example. Uh, anything Dark souls -y related? Anything in that vein? Uh, I refuse to play two, two of the... Uh, like two souls like simultaneously. Oh. Should be able to time slip to attack these creatures from a distance. What creatures in particular? <sighs> oh. Who is that? The journal says Lil, but these letters are all addressed to Nancy. Don't know. They had tails? Yeah, it's probably the Veruki. The Veruki. <clears throat> Oh. Well, back down we go. Might as well look around for a bit while we're here. Oh, there's another door with a peculiar symbol on it. Maybe you have to unlock something that has that symbol on it and it will activate all of them? Probably. I bet it's a shortcut system, maybe? Oh, and I there's just a. Neglected. A, yeah. Like a hookshot point. Yeah, that's how we got up. I'm just looking for anything else I missed. Mm hmm. Because I more or less just beeline for what seems to be progress. Uh, I like I was complaining about, though. It's going to be real hard for me to figure out, like, what are going to be my favorite games from this year. There's a lot of really good ones. I think it depends on your criteria. So one of my biggest criteria is a game that is unlike other games. Mm -hmm. And the closest I can make as a comparison is uh, kind of Shadow of the Colossus just in terms of uh, fight big creature by there we go fight big creature by 
Ooh, I mean, there's also the pathless. Yeah, but that was last year, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. I bet this is... It's been a blur. The runners must have come this way. This is the shortcut. <laughs> if I had just hit this, that would have saved me some time. Oh, you activated the elevator shaft. You've activated, active, active now. There seems to be some plasma floating around in it. Yeah, but what's over here? Oh, just a bunch of... A complex of tiny houses. It looks like someone built these as a habitat for some small mm -hmm. creatures. I wonder what lived in here. But that I was... I maybe guess... they're birdhouses? Yeah, maybe. I go back to my comparison with, um... Shadow um, of the Colossus, though. One of my biggest problems with that game was that... Was I didn't really feel like there? there was... What? Is there something even further up? Yeah, yeah. It probably keeps going. I just have to reconnect it. Mm. Uh, but it didn't feel like there was a whole lot of lore on the world, which I think is fine for what that game was. But I really appreciate the extra bits. I guess I don't oh. really need these. So if you smack this, what will you need to get next? Something down there. Oh, there. Ooh, there's the eye. There it is. We don't even know where the beastie is for this one. Hasn't revealed it. Oh, wait, oh, no. Now it's revealed it's itself. You've gotten the first. Under? I think it's under. One anomaly mm -hmm. down. I wonder oh, if it no will always down. be three, or if there will be some with four, five. Video games really like the rule of threes. The rule of threes. I, I mean, think... it makes sense, though. Like, it's one of the most comfortable uh, gaming design conventions ever. Well, it's because... Three what... faces, three health bars, three weak points. It's because if you... One is obviously too little. That's... It, one is the loneliest, I suppose. Uh, two, eh, three, you have some diversity, whether it be three zones or three MacGuffins to acquire three different bosses. It gives you more variety than one or two. But when you start getting into four, five, six, etc., depending on what you're working with, it might get to be a little bit too lengthy. Too much. So I think that three tends to be one three of the lowest denominators in a lot of games. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's like actual game design experts. Oh, I see. Time slip mode. Like, actual game design experts that have a much better explanation for me. Um, mm. I think I agree that rhythm, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I find, like, once you start getting to four and five, you start losing the script. Mm -hmm. I remember games Ooh, like wind Dynasty. Hmm? Ring it. Oh, yeah, I can. There's wind, but no chime. Eerie. Ooh. Uh, but I remember, like, in Dynasty. Wait, look over there on the left. Warriors. Or, I mean, I see it. There's a statue. It's they're carrying a sword, and are they? Uh, we I got a better view of what their faces looked like from the previous point. I don't know if you'll make it though. Oh, you did. Good. Hmm, they so look chill. Too chill to be a warrior. Well, no, no, no. But look up. Go figure. Their civilization they, fell. I mean, with the tail and those little ears and stuff, they kind of look like they were a type of rat creature. Yeah. And judging by that one, they m must be able to grow facial hair of some variety. Mm-hmm. Oh, dang it. Fine, I'll go get the shortcut first. Grab this. Nice. Ah, and there's that symbol again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know what you do with those symbols. I've seen two of them now. Oh. 
something Shoot. up? What? There's a rock up here. A rock? Yeah. Ooh, well, Aha. there's some goo. I think we've discussed it before, but having red foliage is always huh. a oh yeah an impressive way to make an environment uh. look more alien. Particularly paired with green. Yeah, That's red, but contrast. it's got to be like a blue green as opposed to like a, a full green green. Because mm -hmm. if it's if it's like your standard green, like forest green, it very quickly just turns into Welcome to Christmas Town. I mean, this is definitely on the lime side. But for the other elements in this particular environment, they tend to be closer to the teal side of things. Yeah. Like that. Oh, no. I really like that skybox, though. Going back to that. Like, it's all silhouette, but it works so well. Mm-hmm. I get the feeling we're going to be going to those places, actually. Oh, that ship? Yeah. Across the way? Yeah. That's the star scene. But what is she saying oh no about? Just, oh, wait, are there all these... Bodies. Skeletons? Wait a minute. Take a... Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, they do have kind of like a naked mole rat feel to them. Mm -hmm. Well, these are much more skeletal, too. But is this a is this a survivor? The blood, it doesn't wash off. Are you okay? What happened here? I did it to protect them. I'm sure you did whatever you could. Are you alone? Who? Uh, who's there? I just need to find him. I need him to forgive me. They said something on the lines of the blood doesn't wash off their hands and I did it to... Protect them. Protect them. Mm. They might have killed a lot of people. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Well, want to ask some questions? Who are you looking for? He's okay. Safe. Just hiding. Maybe in our apartment. Or the clock tower. Not the iron route. No, not there. Please, don't be there. She's too far gone. Maybe whoever she's looking for can tell me more about what happened. I bet the guy's gonna be in the iron route. Yup. <laughs> Who are you looking for? Wait, uh, you, you were supposed to ask the Void Runners question. Uh, no. Oh, wait. You, I thought you were already okay. asking her. Six. Oh, no, you're right. Too far yep, gone. there you go. Sorry. Have you seen any Void Runners? Anyone who looks like me. Runners? You can't run from them. I thought it was the only way to save us. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's not all there. I better keep moving. If this race disappeared hundreds of years ago, how long have they been here? Oh, a hundred years ago? They said that that's when they... Disappeared. My assumption is, though, that their society is still. Oh, can you go inspect that body? They died trying to protect someone else. Hmm. But my assumption is their society didn't immediately fall into the void or into chaos or madness. Well, or the world fell into the void but started breaking apart. Yeah, but like, there's still nature here. Like, you could potentially survive for a while as long as it's not too fast or ridiculous. And the Veruki did plant the trees and fruits that we share. Caring for seeds is caring for Veruki. There will always be plenty for neighbor or stranger. And what's the first banner say? On the... I Nothing. can't read it. It sounded like the other one was a continuation. Interesting. I can't actually jump or anything. Can you inspect some of the other corpses? If they do have... A means to do so. I don't think so. Because I'm just curious as to how they died. Some of them, it was because they were buried in rock by the looks of it, but... Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's more I can do here. <sighs> Over on the left, there's something with that symbol. Yeah, I think we have to wait till she leaves. Mm. I'm locked in how I move. There it is. Got a bit of a Kraken feel to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, but with like a, a rib cage and some other stuff. 
It might be some kind of crustacean. Yeah, maybe. Where's the button to scan? Well, I think Sid will also be able to scan. Yeah, yeah. Critical systems offline. Repair network to resume functionality. Anomalous power sources detected. Sending location data to your multi tool. Updating map. The broken capital. So yeah. Oh, you can see how many eyes. eyes. So this one has four eyes. Mm -hmm. Interference detected. Loading emergency services. Uh, oh, we can almost. Okay, back online, Sid. Oh. Network interference detected. Loading emergency. Can you scan for void runner caches in the sector? Scanning. There are five unrecovered void runner logs in this sector. How can we help you? I'll get you back online, Sid. Five oh. logs. <gasps> okay. Well, Ooh. here's one or something. That's. Ages torn from a journal. The are saying there are too many stars in the sky. And now we should prepare for famine. The stars seem to get bigger every night. And they glow a brilliant pink. I like that. Tarragon dander paws. Tarragon dander par paws. Yeah, so definitely yeah, defini a rodent. Mm -hmm. Tarragon is an interesting herb. I've liked using it in our faux meatloafs quite a bit lately. Faux loaf? <laughs> I mean, they're using plant-based meat, so not really meatloaf. It is peculiar calling a vegetarian dish meatloaf. But yeah, tarragon adds it, it adds a kind of licoricey spice to things. It's interesting. You, you shouldn't overdo it, but... I think the first time I'd ever had tarragon was in that... It was almost like a cold mac salad with tuna, wasn't it? Yeah. It was tasty. Oh, interesting. I'll have to find a recipe for it. It's like a further zone locked off here. Mm. Unless good. zones branch one to the next. Oh, my head. Yep, Maybe. can't get too close to that. Down here. Anything interesting down in? Nope. So they were talking about the stars getting larger and pinker. So the planet was either on the move or something was coming to them. You definitely have enough to acquire an extra shield. Yeah, I probably will. I'm going to mess around for a bit, though. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Can you look down? Just to the right. Is that some kind of tram? Yeah. Ah, so they were actually pretty advanced. Yeah, I mean, they had, like, kind of nice-looking bus stops and some other stuff, too. Mm -hmm. Not that bus stops are a particularly big indicator, but, you know. I mean, they have these rail lines. That's what explains all the rails. Ah. I suppose they also must have used rails for their elevators, too, then. There are some elevators that humans use that do have rails, but the ones that we typically see in buildings have cables. Interesting. I'm actually on the wrong side of this. <laughs> I have to come from the other direction. I think the only rail elevators I've ever seen were in fancy malls or hotels, yeah. where the whole... It's exposed like a giant glass container. Have you ever seen those ones? Where yeah. they actually have to have a system that pulls them up. Okay. So. Is it as fun as a funicular, though? <laughs> a what? Funicular. Oh. Is that what we wrote in Budapest? Yeah. Uh, kind of like the rail. They came down. Kind of. The stars came crashing down. I think Iron Room is on fire. Thankfully, my apartment in the city is safe. They're gone down to pause. Wow. Dude was sloppy with his journal placement. 
Unless he just dropped pages every now and then. What was that barricade? A train schedule. Bell Bottom. Capital City. Lake Cyan. Iron Root Highlands. Wheatfield Row. Canning District. Foggy Top... Top... Toppins? Toppins. Toppins. Oh. And then the Till Furrow. Seems like they might have... They were fighting. Uh, yeah, switched to primitive fighting after Looks a bit. Like they tried to fight back. They could have been fighting the critters Looks too. Looks like he just collapsed in the corner. It can't. Uh, judging by the fact that there are no corpses on the other side, they were probably fighting the weird, ultra void monsters. The creatures. Mm-hmm. Ow. Ow! That took off Relief. quite a bit. You're on your last leg. Judge my legs. <laughs> so we'll need to find more shield caches. Yeah, there's probably some outside. And I think you can also you have over two thousand. Isn't that enough to buy the next shield upgrade? Yep. Oh. Well, at least all this is gushy. You don't fall to your death, I, really. You don't take fall damage at all. You can land on a hard surface, and this character does not care. I mean, probably explained by the boots. Network interference detected. Loading emergency services. Now, does that replenish all your shields, or are they empty? Can How can we help ah. you? Nah. I'll get you back online, Sid. Still have to find more caches. Yep. Oh, there's well, there's one, one right there. Did you get it though? Right. Yeah, yep, you did. Hooray. Like oh, there's, there's something in there. there. Mm-hmm. Little blue glow. See, so, yeah, it seems like a bunch of rail stops. Yeah. Pretty sure that's exactly what it is. Can I break these? Yeah. Ah, that you can. Oh, someone died on the rail line. You didn't want- oh, you already did get another shielding. So you're fine. They're scattered everywhere. There you go. There's a lot of places with just small resources. So, if the pink stars were potentially these creatures, because they do have the pink eyes to them. Hmm. Was it just the... I mean, it's possible the, the Ultra Void is, like, a mobile thing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nuts. Well, I'm just wondering, were the... Was it initially the remnants? However many of these boss monsters mm. there are? Or is it just a whole fleet of these monstrosities? Okay, do we get uh -huh, anything here? Right. No. gonna be wandering around grabbing bits for a bit. I don't know. It seems like there's only like five or six in the game. Right. We'd have to look at how many diamonds were going On up that. On that tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the same time, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't... We haven't run into the creature yet. It has not revealed itself. Probably won't until we get the other three eyes. Yeah. Ooh, I was gonna say, she never, uh, like, Ray has not referenced any kind of creatures coming after her homeworld. Just that it's close to the Ultra Void. Well, and that the planet's being pulled in. Yeah. Was it that maybe they were using too much of their void tech and it created an imbalance that then drew their planet in and they had to say, well, do we give I up void tech or do we. And, you know, give up all of our power and our ability to travel through space. Could or be. It could be something like that. It's interesting. They have an awful lot of these pipes that emerge from the buildings and siphon down into the blue gunk. I'd call those needle noses. Pliers? <laughs> pliers? I mean, that would make sense too if they're flyers as well. And pointy. Mm hmm. Okay. Up, 
<laughs> I've never really used pliers for much. Cause I, I used them a lot when I was younger, but not as much now that I'm not doing a whole lot of like handiwork. A hastily written letter. Oh, wasn't the other character Nancy? Oh. And it was like Lynn or Lid? Yeah. Was the other one? Yeah. Nancy, I love you with all my heart, but I can't stay. I'm sick of hiding and running from them. I'm sick of only being able to forage. They spoil our fields, and we can do nothing to nurture the land. Joining the Fire Tales is the only way that we can stop the dross. So the dross is what they refer Probably. to as those creatures? I know it's against our ways to fight, but we have no other options. Please forgive me. I'll, I promise I'll return as the man you love. Okay, yours, Fenaris Field Guard. So, he, the Fire Tails were their resistance force? Must have been. But I suppose they must have had a... A Void Runner Sigil. Someone came through here. Just drawings of farms. There we go. Yeah, so I think the sigils lead to where the logs are. Mm. When you'd noticed them previously. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. The circle symbols with the triangle. Mm -hmm. There we go. I like the combat in this. It's stylish. Maybe a little too fast for me. Oh, hey, that was a nice move. Can you only grapple to them when they have their mouths open? Uh, no, I can I can grapple to them whenever. This looks interesting. It looks like a small camp, a Void Runner camp. Must be. Based off of all the magenta and purple. Cash. Best I can tell is that the Ultra Void sucks in planets and pulverizes them, but tiny parts remain, and it almost looks like you're standing in a real place. Mass transit, architecture, a whole civilization, poof, gone. Death like this compounds and folds over on itself. That's what this place is, death compounded. No one to save here. Just a cruel joke played on a medic who thought he'd seen it all. Pardon this old man's musings, Darb. The starseed conduit for this sector is active. Finally got a clear signal from the Greenhorn. The mission is a go. By the heavens, they've done it. There's hope yet, Darb. There's hope yet. Does he have a dog in the background? I guess so. His <laughs> sound is like some barking. Set up everything, Irving. So where did he go? I gotta keep looking for clues. You should look at the other stuff that's there. Because there are a couple other things you could select. Oh, there. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Is it a this hammock? Is Darb's fur. Oh, Darb is the dog. I see. Zephyrmint tea. Irving's favorite. Zephyrmint. Oh, like peppermint, but mm -hmm. zephyr. Uh, Clever. Well, it's not spelled the same way as the god Zephyr of the West Wind. Yeah, but I it mean, could this, be is zephyr this is a completely different culture. Well, they still have characters named Tarragon, <laughs> so mint is still the same, I suppose. <laughs> hmm. We're back. Uh, so yes, pulling in a bunch of worlds, everyone, maybe it's the collective anguish of the peoples that die there that create these massive creatures of sorrow. I wonder if, um, you know, going back to the whole, the stars are getting closer mm -hmm. and whatnot. I wonder if their planet was already like pulled in by that point. And um, uh, the the pink things might have actually just been other planets, or like asteroids or the the fragments. I thought they of said that there was something crashing down into them, though. Well, yeah, but remember mm -hmm. how uh, F uh, whatever his name was was just talking about how um, mm -hmm. it's 
like the fragments of what was, and it feels like you might you you're still kind of there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one's neither of them are open. No, it's not an open thing. It's a being close to them thing. Ah. There we go. Yeah, it's whenever I use the uh, the time stop power. Pages torn from the journal. The last night have calmed down. I'm still worried. It's hard to breathe this morning. There is an unsettling sound of creaking and groaning all throughout the city, and the tremors will not stop. I'm going to the temple to check on the old priests. Tarragon Dandipas. I like how he says his name. It's very quick. Tarragon Dandipas. Tarragon Dandipas. Wanaba. <laughs> Wanaba. <laughs> Done what? So this keeps going down, does it? Actually, no. Doesn't really look like it goes down further. And yours, your name is easy to say quick. Yeah. Hey! That's not even much at all. Yeah. Wow, that looks like a thing. Uh, is that a portal of some sort? What's going on there? Also, elevator. That likes to get huffy at me for not saying her full name, because I've just defaulted to calling her shell at this point. Mm-hmm. Should be easier to get <laughs> so just calling her shell. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. We... I was hoping there'd be juice here, but no juice. It's fun. The movement in this game feels great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, usually when you have something akin to these skate boots, it feels like you have a lot lack of control, that you're floating around too much. Do you feel that much, or do you uh... feel like you're still in complete control? I feel like I'm in, I'm not in control at all, and yet... Everything works out just fine. Yeah, like if... It, it's like button mashing in a fighting game. You know? Like, have you ever done that? Where you're mm -hmm. playing a fighting game, and you don't really know yeah. what any of the cool moves are, so you just start button mashing, and you just start whipping out sick combos and everything? Wait a minute. Oh, this looks like as though... A much larger creature was just smashed here. Ah, uh -huh. oh, Shit. you better get off of it. Okay, you didn't get killed, but I suppose we'll have to start the sequence all over again. Ouch. Yes. Ouch. Indeed. Oh, that's where the eye is supposed to be, over there. There we go. Got it. There's another one. Ooh, it mm -hmm. looks like the other game where you're a couple who escape together. Have to follow the lines while gliding and recharge. This is like if Haven actually had interesting levels to explore. Goodbye, you will not be missed. I I can see the similarities, but I will say Heavy Haven is the is a pale shadow compared to what this is. This is refined. And hey. I, like Shell was saying with the whole, you know, do you feel like you are in control? And the answer is surprisingly yes. Like, I don't feel like I'm in, in control necessarily. Oh, so you're not saying in, in its entirety. You just mean for the movement. Yeah. The skating movement. But like, I don't know. It felt like Haven kind of wanted to have this level of like cool platforming, but it never had the level design to, to think, really make it work. I think they focused a lot more on the relationships and the writing. Which I don't think is a bad idea, necessarily. 
Because I thought ha Haven was lovely. Oh. Nope. Oh, yeah, you still floated oh. over. Irving. Oh. No. What, what happened to you? Wait, so he was sitting there enjoying himself and then he's fallen over? What's going on? I don't know. Because if he... Then he's dead? Now that's a view. We completed what we set out to do, Dorb. Everything in position. Pyatt was right about one thing. It is beautiful. And it's going to set everything right. Figure if I've got to die, this vista is as good a place as any to do it. I'm just sorry we couldn't make it out of here, old girl. Goodbye, Ultra Void. You won't be missed. A fitting end for an old dog and her. You did your part, old man. I don't know why the Starseed failed you, but I won't make the same mistake. Yeah, he was chilling, then he was hiding. Well, it was like a flash of something. Dead, yeah. And then die, but he knew it was going to happen. That something had been set in place. Unless the remnants were the product of whatever they were trying to do to destroy this place. Maybe. Anything here? I don't think. I think I got it all. Let's see if I can find that building I was inside. Because I've certainly got the HP to tackle more. But yeah, people, uh, there's a mention that there's a lot of auto aim and whatnot to kind of compensate with how, like, quick and snappy it is. Mm. Yeah, and that's, I think, a really good thing. Um,. Then you could have actually made this to be a lot more, like, fine-tuned in control and the game wouldn't hold your hand much. Well, there are difficulty settings, though, too. You chose standard. I think that's mostly for, like, timing and how hard the enemies are. Oh, okay. As opposed to anything else. Whoop, tap, whoop, tap. All right, you still have to defeat this guy. Yeah. Here we go. Alright. I mean, there's some plasma, I suppose. I don't see anything else here. Well, there's that wall. Creepy. Get the pustules. There we go. What do you have for me? No. Feature? I really like that time move. Oh no, there's the creature dying. Possibly shortcut over there. Yeah, so this is another station. It'd be great for there just to be a train city. I would love that. Trains and pedestrians only. Nothing yeah. nothing with I mean I suppose trains do can't have wheels, but nothing loose on the pavement except for humans. No vehicles allowed, or personal vehicles allowed. 